As we begin to think about language ideologies, let's start with thinking about what is challenging and what is important about this topic of language ideologies. It will help us to think about a story that's attributed to someone called David Foster Wallace about these two fish who are swimming along. They meet another fish who says, morning boys, how's the water? And they say to each other, what the heck is water? What was he talking about? Never heard of water. What is it? And well, they couldn't figure it out, so they leave. Now, the fish, notice what the situation is that they're in. They are surrounded by water all the time. In fact, they've never known anything other than being in water. And therefore, they don't realize that it's there. All of us are in a situation similar to these two fish when it comes to ideologies. We all have ideologies, and it's something that we are so used to that we don't notice that they are there. So we're talking about systems of beliefs, attitudes, and opinions. All of that together is an ideology. So what about an ideology specifically when it comes to language? What might a language ideology look like? So as for other areas of life with their ideologies, it's important to note that there isn't just one. This is crucial for us. There are different language ideologies. Out there among people who have not studied language in a systematic scientific way, I, from my experience, they tend to believe that there is a single correct form of language, one way to spell things, one way to pronounce things, one way to put sentences together. They tend to believe that the majority of people don't know this correct form and that that makes them lazy, bad, or stupid, and so forth. There are other elements in this ideology as well. Now, when it comes to linguists, that is people who have studied linguistics, who are making a scientific study of language, we tend to have the view that every community's speech patterns are complex and they all have rules that they follow naturally and that pretty much all of us become with just with rare exceptions uh, pretty much everyone becomes a competent user of their community's language and that happens in the first few years of life and a few other views like this now in the case of linguists language ideologies these views and these beliefs are based on research and data. On the mainstream language ideology side, if you do, you know, you're, every day you're surrounded by people saying things that work within this ideology. So it comes to be a way that you look at interactions. You look through this lens of the mainstream ideology. And when you see people speaking or writing, it's likely that you think along these lines, that you filter those um, experiences through this question of, is that person using language correctly or incorrectly? When people take on this scientific, more scientific language ideology, then they look at interactions through this perspective and tend to ask questions such as, what might that person be accomplishing in a social sense by speaking like that? So I'm not saying that it, you have to set aside mainstream language ideology permanently. And um, linguists do recognize, obviously, the reality that many people have those views. It's a social reality. But while you are taking a course in linguistics, I think it's pretty important just to do well and for the concepts to make sense to get practice at looking through this other perspective in the sense of thinking of language as being complex and rule governed no matter who is speaking it and um, i'm not saying that this linguist's ideology has to become a permanent part of who you are but it's kind of a an extra skill a different way of looking at things that should be available to you otherwise many things in linguistics will get kind of confusing